As part of my media studies coursework, I'll be talking about the codes and conventions of a music magazine front cover. First off, one of the main codes of the conventions is the master. This is the biggest and boldest text on the cover, and is commonly the title of the magazine. It has a unique font that only that magazine uses, and is the trademark, and represents the magazine. Like as you can see on Q, with the red square background and the white Q, it is a connotation of the fact that Q magazine is something that represents almost every genre of music, so the masthead doesn't stand for a particular genre. Also on Kerrang, the smash glass font and the masthead is a connotation of the genre that is more metal and rock, the same with Rock Sound magazine. The cover lines also being a code of convention. They surround the main image. They're like little teasers of the articles in the magazines and are there to catch the reader's eye to make them more interested in reading the magazine. There is a main cover line, which is the biggest text on the cover after the masthead. It is the anchorage for the main image, as the main image cover line shows the most important article in the magazine and what the cover is based around. Something that is usually included in the magazine cover line are buzzwords used to attract attention, such as on cue, rock sound and Kerrang magazine, you can see. The quotes, exclusive interview with Dave Grohl, hot shots and chaos. Some smaller things that are included in the codes and conventions are puffs which are incentives for the reader as they are usually free giveaways, giveaways or prizes. Barcodes on the f- front cover. These are usually with the issue date, the magazine price and the month it's sold. A strap line is on the front cover. This gives the reader what else is in the magazine, making the reader sure they are getting value for money. One of the main things about the magazine is the mise-en-scene. This includes a setting, the position of the main image, which is usually a band or artist. As on cue, it's David Grell, on Kerrang! it's Ollie Sykes and rock sound Hayley Williams from Paramore the lighting and the dress of the artist. This is important as the stance of the artist and the band is a connotation of the genre of the band. Also, the house style is important as the font and the colours used, even though the font and the cover lines are different to the masthead, which is usual in a magazine. The colour scheme, the red, white and black on cue, the yellow, black and white in Kerrang! and rock sand, the different colour of text and background all round, but all around the same layout, font and general style, are all trademarks of the magazine. These are all what I've mentioned, codes and conventions of a music magazine.